Sadie, I didn't think you'd actually be here in Blackwater. Sadie? Oh. What are you doing here by yourself? Hello, Sadie. Oh, John. Come sit down. Sure. You, uh, you got any work? Yeah. Well, there's always work. Whole country's getting robbed, robbing, or stopping robbers. Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. And which are you, exactly? Me? In my time, all three. But same as most people. I guess. I guess, yeah. The funny thing about this job, well, opportunity, I just might get to be all three again. How you mean? <clears throat> you ever heard of uh, Shane Finley? Cattle wrestler? Murder, thief, child killer. Excuse He's me? In five states. I caught him last week. He was disguised as a lady in a house for fallen women. <laughs> I'm bringing him in, and I got robbed by a professional rival of mine, James Langton. Oh, he's a nasty bastard. I didn't much like him even before he robbed me. That happened a lot. This line of work. Yeah, but they're all people like me. Anyway, now they're holed up in the desert down south, waiting to head north, so they can hand them in to the state troopers in the north country. I'd given up on the job as just a bad lot, but now that you're here, maybe we can go rob them back. Revenge robbery? Yeah. It's real good. Plus, I don't much like getting robbed by no one. Come on. Where is it we're heading again, you say? Mm. South. Now come on, mount up. We got a ride ahead of us. Like uh, New Austin South. You're a good filly. Follow me. Let's ride. Yes, ma'am. That new horse? Some folk buy ranches, some buy horses. Horses are cheaper. He looks mean. He is. I've never noticed Sadie's horse before or after this. My ranch? It's something else, you know. You gotta come up there. He ain't had any trouble. Some squatters, but that's it for the most part. Can you replace Uncle in the meantime? Maybe these fellers I heard about have stayed north or gone off somewhere else. Or drop down dead in their own tracks. It's good country. All country is good. It's just folk that are bad. You know who I got up there with me? Uncle. Besides Uncle. Abigail? Uh, Abigail ain't come there just yet. Where are really? Abigail and Jack now? Or wanna talk about it? Well, maybe, but Charles Smith. We found Charles Smith. Charles? He's alive? Yep. Yeah. He's doing okay. He was prize fighting in San Denis. He weren't seeming too well. He took everything real hard. But I think life on the plains is going to be good for him. I always like Charles. You send him my best. Of course. Well, you know, you can come along too. Build a cabin on the land? I've done that all before. Can't do it again. I'm on my own now, John. I, I ain't so good with people. Is that so? The there, whenever you want it. That's kind. Unlikely to be taken up, but kind. You heard anything of Dutch? Nothing. You? Nope. Oh, you'd think. He's a colorful character. Word would get out. That's one way of putting it. Look, what happened with the gang changed everyone who was a part of it. Yep. The Dutch who put a blanket around me after the O'Driscolls, that weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. Of and course. Now, he might not be so colorful no more. You see a man whose character changed. 
I see a man who got found out for who he truly was. We was fools to follow him. I was a fool and I paid for it. And I was one of the lucky ones. Naka, John. Naka's the one who set it off. Mm -hmm. I blame me for following Dutch for too long, but I blame Micah for most everything else. He's out there. And someday, I hope we'll find him. But not now. Come on. Yeah, when will be today? It's gonna be soon. I mean, kinda has to. in a women's boarding house? Shane Finley, correct. And we aim to have Langton give him back to us before he rides north with him to hand him over to some state troopers? Correct again. Though the giving back part is optimistic. And a little bit too much so. Bounty hunting of my own since I last saw you. Oh yeah, we've done five bounty hunting missions. We cut off here. This is the place. It's a view, all right. A quite beautiful view at that. Come on, let's go take a look down in the valley. I mean, wouldn't I love to wake up to this view every day? It's one of the only things that could never get old. Seriously. Oh, the ghost town of Armadillo. Very funny. And that big fat fella with the funny hat? That's James Langton. The other fella just worked for him. Where do you think they're heading? Well, North. Come on. Let's go follow him. Back on your horse. Let's get after them. Oh, come on. We're in a rush, right? After you. They'll be coming through here. Oh. Okay. How convenient. So we're just going to ambush him from above? Awesome. Just ignore my horse. A 
Up here. Get off your horse. This might be our chance. Yeah, they're stopping. And that sure is Shane Finley coming off the back of his horse. What are they waiting for? Uh, the rest of Langton's men, I think. <laughs> Langton's doing pretty well for himself. How come he's got all them men and you work alone? I got you. You're worth ten of them. <sighs> Why, thank you. All right, so what you think? Should we threaten them? Start shooting at them or sneak down and pick them off one by one? I reckon sneaking down is our best opportunity, but uh, it's your call. Let's sneak. I'll follow your lead. Let's sneak down there. Okay, well, follow away. Stay down and stay close. Let's go. What do you know? I have all my throwing knives on me. But I don't have my bow on me either. Oh well. We're going down the canyon. Look out on these rocky paths. I'm not really seeing them, but I trust you. Ah, there they are. Of course the head moves as soon as I release his throw. <sighs> oh. Hello. Yeah, this is kind of loud. Look out, Sadie, they're on to us. Oh, wow. I was hoping it worked. Really? Can't see him on top. One behind that rock. It's kind of hard to see with the kind of the desert fog in a way. And my health is kind of not doing so well. It's not really worth being a bullet sponge. Come on. I need my bullets to hit and kill. Thank you. Damn, I just can't see where they're coming from. Here, this should work.
Mm. This isn't good. kind of mess did we get ourselves into? Oh wait, John asked that earlier. Where's Sadie? Clear the fog up. We need our horses. And when did you get all the way down there? <laughs> oh, that is so not the way to go. Where's he at? Oh, so he's wanted dead or alive. Sweet. I mean, I threw dynamite in a pit, so... Whoopsies. I really don't have time for nonsense. No kidding. Was really rough too. Are you going to speak? I don't know. There's really much to say. You ain't gone soft in these years, have you? Do I seem soft? What's gotten into you? Finley's dead. Langton's dead. His men. But you ain't getting robbed no more, so... Listen, John. I have to stick up for myself. No one else will. They were bad men. And I don't I doubt that. I know. The truth is, I might be more cut out for this work than ranching. Or having a family. Maybe killing's all I'm good for, too. That ain't the truth, John. You're gonna be an old man on your porch with grandkids around. Just, you gotta pay for it, is all. With I don't what? Know if you can do both. I get these thoughts. Yeah, that's what the drink is for. Or fishing. Or anything. You're strong enough to handle it. I hope I am. Sometimes in the past, that ain't always been the case. Wow. Yeah. Oh, whoa. Yeah. 
coming up on the jailhouse. Let's show this body to them. You better have read that bounty poster right. We'll see. Uh, is he scripted to be dead? The bounty? Guess we'll find out. Bring him and put him on a bed. Sheriff can call the undertaker if he wants to. We brought in Shane Finley. Well, what's left of him? Okay. I can't be seen having anything to do with this kind of thing. Well, it certainly looks like him. Shame. I was looking forward to watching you swing. Throw him out back, would you? I thought you said you lost him. Well, I did, but we got him back. Oh, and James Langton's dead. We killed him. Why'd you do a thing like that? It was him that robbed me. Okay. Here. Here. Here's a decent price on Finley. Mm-hmm. I know. You want this money to go to the bank too? No, I'll uh, I'll take it myself. <laughs> okay, Jim Milton. It's John Marston here. All right, well, if you need any more work, you can find me in town, or maybe I'll find you. I'm retired. Sure. Right. Be well, John. Well, that was really embarrassing.